Hey guys, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I'm going to be showing you how I take this cute champion cropped hoodie that's pastel pink into a dreamy bleach tie-dye experiment. So it's not about being perfect, it's about kind of enjoying where it takes you. This is inspired by one of my crop top shirts that I did, this exact thing too, and it looked like a fun sky. So I was like, oh, let's see how it looks like on pastel pink. I know I see a lot of bleach tie-dye on black, so I thought it would be cool to see this. But one thing to note is that this is a very easy tutorial. It's gonna be very straightforward, but we are working with bleach. So if you are a minor, for sure, work with your parents because bleach is a very intense chemical. So I want you guys to stay safe, you know. Make sure you wear gloves, all that jazz. Don't okay, so instead of working like bunching it all up and doing this or something like that, I find when I do that, I get a lot of big empty spaces. So we're gonna do one little section here, a section on the hood, and a section on each arm. Okay, so first we're gonna start on the appendages. First, start it on the arm. You're gonna pick random spots and just start curling. Doesn't really matter, it's not an exact science, at least not to my knowledge, there probably is a whole thing about it. And then once you get a nice little circle, we're going to use rubber band. I just like to put it in as many sections as possible. So that's one arm. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other arm. It's really hard to keep it in a circular shape. So just roll with the punches, y'all. That's the whole motto of tie-dye. Okay, so this is done. And next we're gonna do the hoodie. I like to fold it in because the outside is what you're gonna be seeing. And again, it's the same thing. You just take random bits, curl random things. And now, I have the middle part left. Yeah, it's okay if it loses form a little bit. You're gonna have to help it out a couple times, go over the arms and stuff like that. Try to make sure you have strong rubber bands. This, These rubber bands I got from a tie-dye kit, so they have good tensile strength. So it looks crazy. That's kind of what you want it to be. We don't really know how this is gonna turn out. We'll find out together. All right, guys, so next up, what you wanna do is you wanna take a squeeze bottle. I got this from a tie-dye kit. I emptied out a color that I knew I wasn't gonna use. So yeah, you wanna make half water, half bleach. We're gonna do the water first. Next, we're using this little funnel to be safe. And we're gonna put the bleach inside. Alright, so we're working in the bathtub. I couldn't find a plastic tarp and I'm gonna be rinsing it off in the bathtub anyway. So I figured this was the best place. I got my gloves on like I told y'all we need to have. And we're just gonna let loose and have fun. And see where this takes us. And you kind of want to work fast because bleach tie-dye, unlike normal color tie-dye, happens very quickly. I'm kind of just winging it. I'm not trying to like immerse it in the color. I know a lot of people do do that. I'm doing every other section. You know, loose guide if it goes over, no big deal. It's kind of just, like I said, you gotta roll with the punches, have fun with it. That's the main point of tie-dye. 
trying to work fast. It's okay if it blends into other sections, like I said. I'm just gonna have fun with those sections too. Even though this wasn't sectioned off. Probably should have been, but it's okay. Okay, now I'm moving on to this section. I know some sections are a lot smaller than others, but that's okay, cause it's tie-dye. You see how the color is starting to lift from there? I'm trying to work fast. Okay, and now we're on to the middle. I ran out of it, so Mike went to fill it up real quickly. So just be prepared for that with the hoodie. You're probably gonna need two bottles. See how the lifting from the color of the first part we did is almost done? That bleach dye works fast. I'm thinking of liking how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to eyeball this because usually you want to wait like five to seven minutes, but as you can see, some parts are already pretty much finished. So I'm going to get some scissors and cut out those ribbons. And by ribbons, I mean rubber bands. So I'm cutting out the first part that I did. And just know that these aren't the results yet. It's going to be, you know, different because the color is going to wash out as I remove stuff. As I rinse it, I mean. <laughs> Usually it's like five to seven minutes, but for some cases, like very light pastel colors, that's going to be a little bit lighter. So just keep in mind of that. If it's like black, I probably would wait like a little bit more. I'm actually going to give it like 30 more seconds and then I'm going to rinse it out. I was rinsing off the parts that were getting pretty white very quick, which were the hoodies and the sleeves, basically the stuff that we did first. So that's why these are like sopping wet. But I'm waiting for the body to finish completely. I think I have another, you know, 30 seconds left and I'm gonna do those. All right, next I'm going to uh, put this in the wash and put it under a cold cycle and then I'm gonna put it in the dryer. All right guys, so it's finally out of the dryer and this is the final product. It looks really cute. Um, when I was unraveling it in the bathtub, I noticed there were still some spots. So I just like took my little bleach bottle and added some spots to get the desired look. But as you can see, there's like no big empty spots. You got your sleeve all good, your hoodie, back, and you got this. See, you don't necessarily need to have black for it to have like a cool effect. I th actually really like how it looks like on pastel colors. So I highly recommend trying it out. I hope this video was very informational for you guys. And if it was, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys end up trying uh, bleach dyeing with my tutorial, comment down below your creations. I'd love to see them, or you can tag me on Instagram. My handle is right here. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.